What's up Tarnish? This is Darth Soul and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a plus 9 special weapon early in the game without fighting any enemies. For this example, I upgraded the Icerand Hatchet, but you could use the Somber Stones we acquire in this video to upgrade any special weapon that you like to use early on. To get the first Somber Stone, we're going to head east from the Gatefront Ruins right after we talk to Melina and receive Torrent. The first Somber Stone is going to be located on the east side of the bridge here in Limgrave, but as you're going there, make sure you pick up any items or other things that you think you might need along the way. Like for example, I picked up that Ash of War right there. And then on this dead body to the right of the bridge, you'll get the Somber Smithing Stone 1. It's located right here on the map. This might also be a good time to mention that even though I got the Tier 1 Somber Stone first, I won't be going in numerical order. Instead, I'll be going in order of convenience or whichever one is closer. Next, we're going to take a little pit stop at Fort Height, which is located southeast of where we just were. Up these stairs and up this ladder is one of the halves of the medallion for the Lift of Dectus. We're going to need that later for getting the sixth Somber Stone. Now we're going to head on back to the starter area and then use Torrent to travel on over to the Dragon Burnt Ruins. At this point, you should have one half of the Lift of Dectus medallion as well as the first tier one Somber Stone. Head on down into this little dungeon here to take the trapped chest over to the Celia Crystal Tunnel. As you can see here, I'm crouching so that I don't get killed by those centipede guys. Follow the path I'm showing here to grab that side of grace so you don't die. Once you've done that, head on up this ladder. I kind of took a wrong turn as I was trying to find this next somber stone. Uh, so don't go up here where I'm showing you right now. Instead, go back and jump over on top of these little sheds. Head on through this tunnel up this ladder and then turn around and you should get the somber smithing stone 4 from that dead body right there. Next, we need to exit the Celia Crystal Tunnel into Kalid and then follow the cliffs on the right until we see a canyon on our right, right here. Follow along until you get to the end of the canyon and right next to this ball of faces, you'll find the Somber Smithing Stone 5. Since you probably don't have the map of this area yet, here's what it should look like. Our next stop is also in Kalid, so head on back out of that canyon and take a right, just like we did before at the Celia Crystal Tunnel. Head on through the swamp and then be sure to grab this side of grace right here. After that side of grace, we'll basically take a U-turn and then head along the top of those cliffs that we just passed while in the swamp. So you should see the swamp off to your right below those cliffs. Also, as you're going along through Kalid or any of these other areas, be sure to pick up any golden runes that you find on these tombstones. You'll need those to upgrade your weapon later. At this point, you should have now reached the Dragon Barrow West side of grace. To the northeast of that side of grace on this tree should be a scarab that's just hanging out. Now with your low level weapons, if this is early in the game, it might be a little difficult to kill or it might take a little while, but it's not too bad because it never fights back, but it does explode. So look out for that. Now you should have the Somber Smithing Stone 8. Here's kind of what it looks like on the map. Next, we're going to head southeast of where we just were to Fort Faroth. In Fort Faroth is the other half of the Lift of Dectus medallion that we need to pick up. And since we're already here in Kaled, we might as well pick it up now instead of having to come back later. I like to head over to the Burnt Out Wall and then keep on the right side to avoid any of those dragons that might come after you. If you do that, you should be able to just run through here on Torrent fairly easily. Once you're at Fort Faroth, the medallion is not too hard to find. All you need to do is run past all the bats in this center room. As long as you go quick enough, they shouldn't be able to hit you. At the top of this ladder is a chest that contains the other half of the Lift of Dectus medallion. Now here's where things get a little complicated, so we're going to head on back to the gate front side of Grace and follow up this path here until we get to the Castleward Tunnel. It's very important that you get this side of Grace and rest at it. After resting at the Castleward Tunnel side of Grace, we're going to head north and go on to the east side around the castle so that we just skip the Limgrave Castle entirely. Now at this point, it's very important that you do not rest at any other sites of Grace until we get to the Belfries. So once again, do not rest at any other sites of grace. See this one on the right? I'm just passing it up, not resting there. But before we get to the four belfries, we're going to take a couple pit stops. So first is the village of the Albanarx under the cliffs here. Take this bridge that's on that right side. There's also a crystal sword you can pick up on the way here. But up on this rock at this location is another one of those scarabs. This one should have the somber smithing stone tier two. At this point, we'll head directly north of where we just were to the Temple Quarter. This is where you can pick up the Icerand Hatchet. It's located in a chest underneath one of these buildings here. If you don't want to use the Icerand Hatchet, you can just skip this part. Our next stop is just to the north of the Four Belfries before we head on up there. On the north side, on one of the lower hanging cliffs, is a body in a chair that contains the Somber Smithing Stone 3. 
Now it's finally time to head on up to the four Braille Freeze, which I just showed you on the map. Remember, do not get this side of Grace. The last one we should have rested at was the Castleward Tunnel side of Grace. At the top here on the first Belfry is the Imbued Sword Key. We're going to use that to activate the last one at the very bottom. Now what we're trying to do here is take advantage of a glitch that will get us to the Crumbling Ferrum Azula early in the game so we can pick up some of those high tier somber stones. Now real quick, I wanna give a disclaimer. I did not discover this glitch on my own. I found a few YouTube videos and TikTok videos about it. If you know who discovered this glitch as of patch 1.04, please let me know, put their name in the comments below. Now that we're here, in order for the glitch to work, make sure you follow exactly what I'm doing in this video. So first open your inventory and then click on the memory of grace. We're gonna use that to return to the stoneward tunnel side of grace that we originally rested at but we're not actually gonna go back there. So we're gonna click yes, use it, but before it gets to like 90%, around 80%, we're gonna Alt F4 out of there and then reopen Elden Ring, click on continue, and then you should respawn at the Crumbling Firm Azula. Now there is a very similar method that's just a little bit different, but it is slightly more complicated and I haven't really had as much success with that method working. The method I just showed you now should work almost, if not every, single time so as you can see as i'm going through here i'm picking up uh, a bunch of stones and stuff just because i might use them later but you don't need to you can just run through here be sure to grab all these sites of grace because these enemies are fairly difficult and will probably kill you at least once while you're running through and you wouldn't want to have to start over completely so real quick as another little tip after the third set of grace hanging over the cliff on a body is the somberstone miner's bell bearing tier four which will allow you to purchase somberstone seven and eight but you should already have eight and you can pick up somber smithing stone seven from that body I just showed you there. Somber stones seven and nine are located very close together. Just keep following this path here till you get to this pillar and you'll find somber smithing stone nine. If you have followed along exactly with the rest of the video, you should now have every other somber stone except for somber stone tier six. Somber stone tier six is going to be found in Mount Gelmir or Gelmir, however you say that. But it's a little bit of a trek to get there, and it's the reason why we got both halves of the Lift of Dectus medallion. And in case you didn't know where the Lift of Dectus is, that's what I'm showing in the video right now. This is how I would skip the academy. Since the goal of this video is to show you guys where to get these somber stones 1 through 9 without fighting any enemies, it does involve a lot of running around. But I think it's important to mention that if you wanted to, there is a way to get a somber stone tier 6 earlier in the game in Kaelid, but you do need to fight a boss. So right now I'm showing you the very, very long trek over to Mount Gelmer to get the Somberstone tier six. But if you wanted to, I'll put at the end of this video the method that I would probably use to get that sixth one. All right, we're almost there. Just keep heading up those Spirit Springs across this bridge. And then on the left should be the first side of grace that you'll find at Mount Gelmer. But the Somberstone we're looking for is after the second side of grace. So we're gonna keep going along the left side here, along these cliffs, you will find a ladder. As you can see, I died a couple times attempting this. Those guardian guys at the bottom are quite aggressive. So look out for those guys. But once you reach the top of the ladder, on the left will be that next side of grace you're looking for. The name of this side of grace is the first Mount Gilmer campsite. And if you just pass all the graves here and head on up to this rock, you should see a body in a chair that contains the somber smithing stone. And that is it, congratulations. If you followed along with the entire video, you should now have somber stones tiers one through nine. And if you picked up any of the golden runes that you found on graves or just lying around along the way, you should definitely have more than enough runes to upgrade that weapon. Also, if you found this video helpful or enjoyable in any way, please be sure to like and subscribe. Or if you have any kind and helpful critiques or tips for other players to help them with getting these somber smithing stones early in the game, please be sure to comment that below. Or once again, if you do know who came up with that glitch for getting to the crumbling firm Azula, please be sure to comment their name down below so that I can appropriately credit them. And last but not least, as promised, I'll be showing you guys how to get the somber smithing stone tier six earlier in the game without going up that lift of Dectus. So you'll wanna head on back to that Celia crystal tunnel that I showed earlier in this video. The boss of this Celia crystal tunnel does drop a somber smithing stone six as well as some other very useful items if you're able to kill it. I would personally recommend using the other somber stones you've already acquired to upgrade a special weapon to plus five before attempting the boss. That should make it a lot easier or you can go level up and come back here later if you're not too worried about getting those somber stones too early in the game. I personally had a lot of difficulty beating this boss this early in the game. In fact, 
I actually couldn't do it. I, I spent a long time. I probably went through about 20 different tries before I eventually gave up and just ran over to Mount Gilmer to get the sixth one. But if you can do it, good for you. And that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Darsol out.